everyone! Happy Hanukkah! I thought to start off the Hanukkah season, we would take a look at every American Girl Hanukkah outfit. I was going to do every Hanukkah item, but I don't celebrate Hanukkah so I can't vouch for the authenticity of things like the menorah and the dreidels and whatnot. So I thought, let's just look at the outfits and base them off of how cute they are. Of course, we're going to start from ugliest to cutest, so let's get into it. Now, I don't find any of the Hanukkah outfits particularly ugly, but Rebecca's old Hanukkah dress I do find a bit weird. I don't like the undershirt and the way that the dress looks fitted, but then the shirt underneath looks flowy. It just looks weird, and I know that it's very in time for her being the 1910s, but it's still not my favorite. I do love the purple color. I like this version of purple much more than her Be Forever version of purple. Next up is the Happy Lamaka sweater from last year. Now, once again, I think this is absolutely adorable. I don't like it as much as the one that we have this year, and I'm not a very much of a pun person, so I'm not a fan of the Happy Lamaka, but I do think it's adorable, and American Girl Ugly sweaters are just the greatest idea. I think they are adorable. And here is this year's sweater, I love you a lot, Kay. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I love this one. I don't know what it is about the stripes and the little smiley latke. I think it is beautiful. And I also like that you get little matching headbands for you and the doll, that is super cute. This is the Hanukkah celebration outfit and it is available now for $38. I think this is super cute. I like the subtle design with the little snowy details at the bottom. I love the dark blue and you have the little necklace with the symbol thing on it. I'm so sorry, I don't know what it's called, but I do like this outfit. I just think there are better ones and this one's just kind of basic. And $38 is a bit much, although you do get a necklace and shoes, but still. This is the winter festival outfit, also known as the Hanukkah outfit, which was released in 1997 and retired in 1998. I think this outfit is super cute and it could work not only for Hanukkah, but for any holiday and it's super cute. Very much that cozy, retro, Christmassy vibes. Love it. Now, this is Rebecca's latest version of her Hanukkah dress, which I think is so freaking pretty. I've seen people use it as a Cinderella dress as well, which also it works very well for. But something about this dusty light blue and the little like shawl over thing is so cute. I think this is worth every penny. Of course, if you're in Canada, it's like $50, which is a bit much for one dress, but I think if you celebrate Hanukkah or if you just really love this dress, it is totally worth it. I've seen it in person and it is great quality as well. This is Rebecca's holiday outfit. It was released in 2014 and retired in 2018. Now it is not straight out called her Hanukkah dress, but I think it pretty much is. And this one is definitely my favorite of the three, which is a bit of an unpopular opinion. I know that people usually prefer the dusty light blue one, but I love this. I think Rebecca in like a dark navy blue or purple is absolutely stunning with her mold and her facial features and all that. I love this dress and I wish it was still available. I think this one is cuter than the one we have right now. Okay, that is all the outfits, but I just wanted to add one little side note. Look how cute these little Hanukkah blind bags are. Oh my goodness, so cute. So that is the very short list of all of the Hanukkah outfits. I'd love to know your thoughts, but one last thing I want to mention. I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Nikki and Isabel, the twins, not the girl years, are also Jewish. Why don't they have Hanukkah outfits? At least to my knowledge, and so far as of 2023, they do not. And I think that is definitely something we could use right now, especially with the war going on and just the lack of Hanukkah representation in the media overall. I think we could use that. So that's another thing that I just wanted to point out. Also makes me not like uh, Isabel and Nikki as much, but we already know I don't like them. Anyway, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Happy Hanukkah, and I hope you all have a wonderful week. Bye!